Hey there, how goes it? I'm test running another Game Boy game. The Amazing Spider-Man 3, um, something, something, Invasion of the Spider Slayers, it appears. Um, yeah, another test run. Another game I, nah, I played this at night a couple nights ago over the weekend, something like that. Oh. Another day starts for Spidey and fighting crime. The park is always a good place to start. There's always crime in the park. People walking their dogs, there's always like, you know, Central Park, stop 20 muggers. Cause you know, that's where all the crime is in the fucking dog parks. With people walking their dogs and, uh, you know, um, jogging. And you know, people being attacked by rabid um, mutant fucking Rottweilers and shit. Well, not so much a mutant wa rabid Rottweilers, but kind of something like that. Like, what was it, like a month or two ago? Some dude was out in Chicago. I think it was Chicago. Yeah, I think it was Chicago. He was, you know, just fucking around, uh, you know, jogging around in the park and such. And, uh, I guess out of nowhere, the dude, like, got fucking attacked by, like, um, dogs. Like, two Rottweilers or something, he got attacked, and, like, somebody had, like, you know, tried to save him or whatever, and finally the dog left him alone. Um, but yeah, I guess, I like skateboarders that like to ride, ride by, you know, like, smack you as they're, you know, going by. Well, anyway, I was an asshole when I was playing this, because I really did not realize um, stuff for this game. Okay, so, like, not everybody is a fucking mugger, it appears. Um, mostly kids on skateboards are, like, assholes. But not all these guys who, like, you know... See, not all of them shoot and stuff, so I think that's what took so long, because it's like... I just fucked up, like, 20 of these dudes that, like, shoot and shit, didn't I? Not all of them shoot. Some of them, they'll, like, pull out newspapers and shit, so obviously they are not trying to shoot or mug me, unless you want to consider a, um, newspaper a weapon. And I think if you attack before they even pull it out, it might penalize you, because as I see, I didn't, I guess I didn't notice it before, I wasn't paying attention or whatever. But I was like, why the fuck is this taking so long? Didn't already, like, kill, like, four of these fuckers? Or, you know, knock them out, or I kicked them in the head and took them out, or, you know, whatever. But, um... Like, this was, this was an asshole level area thing. I'm like, man, fuck this. I just want to, you know, do stuff. It, you know, it doesn't mean this, you know, make it suck or whatever. So, um, yeah, it sucked anyway. So, I found it interesting that somebody was like, hey, do more test runs of shitty old school retro games and stuff. Because that's what I tuned in for, well... I need to find more people who like the retro shit than to chop on my channel, because I, I do plan to be keep doing retro shit for quite a while, because I don't have any of these new consoles. You know, I do plan to do PSP, but even PSP has retro games on it. Keep that one in mind. Because they have some retro- they re released a bunch of the retro stuff on PSP. Um, so if my car is fixed and I can save some money now, and just, you know, float along and, you know, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and get me this PSV and PVR and start recording some shit. Uh, maybe, I, and maybe I can, maybe what I'm thinking I have in mind on how to set up the, um, PVR to my, uh, LCD, it'll work fine. But also the kind of thing I'm scared of, I hook up this PVR and I start recording stuff and it turns out like my arcade stuff does and lag. That's what I'm fucking scared of right now. That I'm gonna invest in this, and it doesn't work right. I don't think it'll be the... As far as I know of, it wouldn't be so much the PBR by itself. It'd probably be the computer. But if that still outputs, fine. Because I've, I've read that even, you know, if it looks shitty, you know, because usually when you're doing the playback and you're recording, it's gonna look like ass. Like in a preview. But, um... Like, it's output, after it records the video, it's fine, you know, there's no problem with it. But, um, 
And it also depends on what you know it's outputting to. Like, let's say you're recording an HD video, but it's, your computer doesn't support HD, but you transfer the HD file over to a computer that will support it, then you know it's fine. So obviously, I can create videos that it will be all right. Although I'm also kind of scared because if it out, it shouldn't output um, regular, you know, standard definition as HD. Will it? I hope not. Because my stuff does not support HD. My screen does, my computer doesn't. So, hopefully, uh, that works out. Uh-oh! Spider sense! That's bad news! It looks like there is something up in the trees! Oh no! Someone... some kind of monster! What a... What the fuck? Who let the aliens in here? Well, I kind of skipped a part right here because I actually did die, and then this is my next attempt um, at fighting the aliens. This is like a Spider-Man vs. Aliens crossover. Instead of, you know... Instead of Alien vs. Predator, this is Spider-Man vs. Alien, or Alien vs. Spider-Man. Um, obviously, the alien sucks ass. He's like spitting his acid at me, and it's like, hey, fuck you. You're just a stupid alien. And I'm Spider-Man! You ain't shit, boy. I'll, you know, throw you in a web thingy and, you know, cocoon you and then I'll, like, suck on your brains or something. I don't know. Well, anyway, you know, he spits and, you know, his stuff all over me, you know, you know, orgasms or whatever the fuck you want to refer to this shit as. And then, you know, I just kick him in the face a few more times, and he finally, you know, eventually goes down after I kind of get my be ass beat. And, uh, yeah, there you go. He finally, you know, fell off the side of the stage, because it's, like, only, like, it, up in areas, so, you know, when you beat his ass, he goes flying off the edge. Because, uh, unfortunately, sorry to disappoint you, but this is not a, you know, a environment. It's only a... Spidey sense buzzing like crazy. Because of all the booze you drank last night. A metal bird, another robot. What a sweet, cute looking fellow. Stage one, three, two towers. Uh oh. What a touchy subject matter. I do remember, like, when one of the Spider Mans came out. I don't remember if it was, like, first one or, you know, whatever one, but I remember they had, um,. A controversial part where they had to like go back and edit it or whatever because at the time they did it everything was fine but then when they you know and it was right around the time of the Twin Towers going down so maybe this is like you know supposed, I think this is supposed to be a play on the Twin Towers right here or something because you know this is based in New York and such and obviously Spider-Man is a fucking moron since he didn't stop a you know airplane crashing into the two towers um, I wonder if they worked that into the Spider-Man story, since, you know, like, played on around that time and such. Although everybody's, like, all pansy and shit about that. They're, like, all touchy about it, so... You know, whatever. Um... I don't want to get into it. People will think I'm a prick if I even get into that, how I feel about that. But, uh, yeah, at this point in the game, this is, like, my second or third attempt. And I'm kind of like, you know, fuck this shit. Because, like, the buttons are, like, weird and trying to do. And you don't always stick to the wall when you try to stick to a fucking wall. And, uh, I'm not quite sure how to progress from this point. Because, I mean, you can shoot your web stuff. But, like, I'm trying to shoot it over to that thing and, like, swing over there. But that's, like, really not working. So I'm trying to shoot it over here. And that's not really working either. And I'm like, so what do I do? Okay, I'm going to jump down here and stuff. I can try to climb up here, but that's not really going to work either because I'm an idiot. So, you know, at this point, I'm kind of like, you know, fuck this shit. Um, let me just, like, jump around like a moron for a moment or something. Um, yeah. I thought this was actually kind of retarded. It's like no clear way on where to go here. I'm kind of like, fuck you. So I, I mean, I keep trying. I, you know, try, I kind of guess. But I really don't make any progress because I really... I'm not quite sure what the hell I'm doing or supposed to be doing or doing wrong or whatever the fuck. 
that I didn't quite work on. Oh, I, you know what? Let's see if I can nail it in time. I only got like, what, a minute? Two minutes? Let's see if I can nail it in time, and I kind of doubt it. What I've been noticing I need to get on top of, too, is giving some fucking backstory to these games. Um, like, you know, all the release information, um, and such. And I really haven't been on top of that. Because I was, like, doing a whole lot of the stories for characters in the Street Fighter Alpha 2. Um, but then I realized, you know, as I'm doing this, I'm all doing everything post-commentary. Because I rarely can get up anything live commentary correctly at this point. So here, let's see if it loads up in the next, um, minute and some seconds. Let's see, uh... This was developed by Bit Studios and published by LJN, released in 93. Is the third and final video game released by LGN for the original Game Boy, based on the popular comic book hero of the same name. The game was released in 93 in a similar in style and format to the second The Amazing Spider-Man 2 Game Boy title. The storyline of the game follows the contemporary comic book style storyline that was being published at the same time. Spider-Man is being attacked by an assorted assortment of high-tech robot Spider Slayers. As was the case with Spider-Man 2, the player had to control Spider-Man through various levels, fighting enemies and supervillains, while also trying to solve various types of puzzles, i.e. the first level, the player had to distinguish between criminals in the park and men just reading a newspaper in the park. Then after defeating enough real thugs, the player had to manage several tricky web swings in order to get to the top of his building. Asshole. Uh, as was the case with Amazing Spider-Man 2, critics generally pan the game as having small graphics, complicated controls, grammatical errors in the ex exposition scenes, and being frustratingly difficult. Oh, I think they're pretty much correct right there. Yeah, so we're kind of like, you know, kind of fucked on it being a good game, because it's not really a good, fun, cool game. Um, but it looks like I'm coming to an end momentarily, so, oh, I'm dead, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, check out other videos you may enjoy more, and I'll see you, bye.